Hey everybody, so I wanted to uh, show y'all my arbitrage calculator uh, for various cryptocurrency exchanges. Um, and how, how it works is I'm using Microsoft Excel and um, I have it tied into uh, to a website. I'm using the quotes on CoinMarketCap. So I'm not using the aggregate quotes on the main CoinMarketCap page, but I'm using the, uh, the exchange specific quotes. Um, from Poloniex, GDAX, and Kraken. So there is a slight time delay here. Uh, the prices displayed here are normally one or two minutes behind, um, at least from what I've seen when I have CoinMarketCap pulled up right next to uh, the exchange's live feed. So these quotes are a minute or two delayed. Um, and it's for those three exchanges, like I mentioned, and we're looking at three coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And so just to explain how um, how it works is let's let's take a look at the most profitable square. So square eight is currently a 2% profit if you make the round trip. So here we have square eight. So what this square does is you're either going to start with Litecoin on Kraken and go to GDAX and then up to Bitcoin on GDAX and then back to Kraken with also with that Bitcoin and then back to Litecoin again and then you can complete the circle um, so yeah so there, there it was updating as you can see these these numbers change so, sometimes they fly up really quick for a second uh, and then they normally settle back out so so now square eight is not the most profitable now square seven is but um, Let's just keep looking at square eight because there's still a lot of margin there and that's the one that we were talking about. So you're either going to go in this square or you're going to go the opposite way. And for here, um, you can tell just by looking at it that the most profitable way is to start with cash on Kraken, buy Litecoin for 48.65, move it to GDAX and sell it for about 50 cents more or 40 cents more. And that's close to a 2% uh, trade there. And then you take the pro then then you take that and buy Bitcoin, and then ship that Bitcoin from GDAX to Kraken, and then sell the Bitcoin and buy Litecoin again. And you can continue to make this round trip until uh, it becomes not profitable anymore for you, or if you want to stop doing that square and move to another square, because as we just witnessed, sometimes the most profitable square changes, and sometimes they change very frequently. So. So that's basically how it works. I've done quite a few manual trades this way. Uh, one of the big issues is just, as we all know, the volatility of cryptocurrencies is really high. So uh, a lot of the times you'll have big time price movements during the 30 to 40 minute period that you have uh, Bitcoin settling or Litecoin settling. Um, and this is not ideal, but um, everything held equal. Um, you would hopefully get volatility equal in both ways. So. Maybe one transfer, it helps your trade, and then the transfer from the other exchange back, it would hurt your trade. So normally, uh, the volatility cancels out. Since we are just talking about 30 minutes to an hour here to execute one of these full uh, arbitrage rectangles or squares or whatever you want to call them. So I thought I would take it one step further and do some data gathering with it. So um, what I've done is uh, every minute this would um, move over what the current arbitrage opportunities were. So after one minute, it would paste them there, one, another minute, paste them there. And I did this for three hours, so there was 180 data points, just to see um, if each square stayed profitable on its own. Obviously, you're not gonna continue doing one square over and over again. Most of the time, you'll hop around to whatever is the most profitable at that time. But just to show you what it averaged out to be after the uh, three hours of data gathering, um, this column right here is the averages. So uh, as you can see, square two uh, and square four, five, and six are all close to one and a half percent, which is really pretty amazing. Um, if you are talking about making, you know, a percent to one and a half percent in the course of 30 minutes to an hour, that's the type of arbitrage opportunities that uh, Wall Street really dreams about. Um, so it's a really good opportunity, and I've made a good number of trades doing it myself. 
something that I haven't mentioned properly is that um, these percent profits, and actually th this one's really old as you can see, these prices are from a few months ago when I first uh, set up this, this arbitrage calculator. This is a saved one. But on this, um, on this most recent one, uh, so let's take a look. So look, so now we're back to square eight being the most profitable square. So this 1.15% profit is not taking into account um, uh, transfer fees or trading fees. So these can be uh, somewhat substantial on some exchanges. Um, I know for GDAX, the market taker fee is uh, zero. But um, if, if, if you're really just going between these three exchanges, it's normally 0.1 or 0.2 to, to uh, trade. And then it is, uh, it's normally 0.1 to actually move the money if you're moving like 1500 to uh, $2,500. So even if, you, uh, even if you take 0.15 and multiply that by four, that's 0.6. So that's assuming both trades and that's assuming uh, both uh, transfers between exchanges to complete this, the circle. So you can take, so even here where it's not that high, 1.15 minus 0.6, you're still making uh, a 0.6% return uh, over the course of 30 minutes now. If you do this for a few days, uh, you're gonna double and triple your money uh, over the course of a few days. So. It's a really interesting opportunity, uh, and it was really fun just setting this up and learning how it works, and actually doing some real uh, data gathering with uh, with Excel. Um, it's pretty interesting to me that these opportunities even exist in the market. Um, you think that a lot of the trading bots and stuff would have it figured out. One thing I, I did a good bit of research on if these trading bots are smart enough to send money between exchanges. And from everything I found is that they're really not. So most of these trading bots are just trading on one specific exchange. Um, and that's what li that's what really allows a lot of these big uh, price differentials to uh, pop up. So, so if you're interested uh, and you'd like to see this, just uh, leave a comment uh, and I can send this to you and you can, you can play around with it and stuff. Um, I would be using it more to make these arbitrage trades, but I do work a full-time job. So it was kind of just a hobby for me setting it up and fun just to prove that I could make a few profitable arbitrage trades uh, without any sophisticated technology or with a trading bot. So thanks for listening. Hope you uh, learned something.